it today? We'll come back for the table. I'm gonna set this stuff down and we'll get the table. Better to take two trips. Don't wanna fall and die. Whoa. Camera me falling and getting wrecked. Jeez! guys, we're out here in Palisades State Park in South Dakota. And today with me, I have five Coors Seltzers. One of them is actually a limited edition flavor. It's the orange cream pop. And today I'm gonna be testing them out and reviewing them for you guys. I have had one of the Seltzers already. I'm not gonna tell you which one yet. And I kinda like it, so we'll see. I haven't tried the other four flavors though. So we're kind of, I'm excited. So I'm excited to see how that's gonna go. Damn. Did you see that? And you can tell we're in the uh, we're at a state park with a with some water because a massive fish just flopped out of the water over there. In honor of Coors Light, <laughs> Coors Light. In honor of Coors being my favorite drink. In honor of Coors being my favorite beer, I'm gonna actually shotgun this Coors Light for you guys today. These are also known as the uh, Silver Bullets. If you guys didn't know that, always gotta pop the top a little bit. Right where it says chill. Got the nozzle, the uh, nose pointed towards me. I'm just gonna stab her. Kinda cut her open like this a little bit. You always, this is the important part, you gotta take the knife and you gotta just, just like that, right in the ground. Always fold in these sides right here so you don't catch your lip on them. Been there, done that, am I right boys? And then up and away. Usually, oh, <coughs> okay. Usually I would uh, chuck this somewhere, but we're in a state park, so I'm gonna make sure I clean up after myself. So I'm just gonna set this over by this cooler right here. Just to kind of chill for right now. We'll get it. All right, guys, without further ado, let's give those Coors Seltzers a try. I'm here at the Coors Seltzer tasting table. What we're kind of trying to do here is we have the corresponding snack or fruit that goes with each one of these seltzers. So we're gonna give the seltzer a try. I'm gonna rate it. I'm gonna give it the smell test, the taste test, and then I'm gonna try the corresponding snack or fruit that goes with it to see if it tastes anything like it. So let's get started, guys. All right, guys, the first one we're trying here today is the orange cream pop. This is the limited edition summer flavor that Coors released for their seltzers. I'm gonna give this guy a try. I'm gonna start by cracking her open. Definitely smells like an orange cream pop, it really does. Um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of really good uh, cream pop, orange cream pop vibes here. Let's uh, give her a taste. Okay. That tastes like they put like an orange creamsicle into a glass of milk, melted it down, and then we put it on ice and now it's cold and it, that tastes really good. I'm gonna actually give this orange creamsicle a try as well to see if it tastes anything like the drink. See if I'm right or not. Yeah, wow. It's very similar. Obviously there's a sharper taste in the seltzer than there is in the creamsicle pop. But overall, nice work, Coors. That's a, that's a pretty, pretty similar tasting drink to the uh, name. So the rating, I would give the orange cream pop uh, Coors Seltzer here. I'd probably give that, I'm gonna say an eight out of 10 is what I would give it. Let's go on to the next one. All right, guys, the next Coors Seltzer we're trying is the mango. And 
Once again, I have the mango complement in it so I can see how the flavors match up. But let's, uh, let's give this guy a try. I'm gonna crack her open quick. Give it a smell. I am getting uh, hints of mango, like pretty strong actually. I'd say it smells pretty good. Mango is not usually my favorite flavor, but it smells like mango to me. So now let's give her a try. Ooh, okay. Ooh, what's that taste like? I taste like a I taste like a juicy fruit style gum. Is kind of what I taste when I try this. I'm gonna give the mango a try to kind of see if it's if it tastes anything like it. I think he's biting the mangoes, right? <laughs> No, you don't. What do you do? You have to cut into it with a knife. I can't just bite it and eat the skin? <laughs> okay, so apparently you're not supposed to just bite into the mango. So it's a good thing that I got my knife on me. Get myself a nice little taste of this. Just eat that stuff. All right, I'm gonna eat that, I think. Okay. See, that's, that's much more refreshing than the seltzer. Are you shaking? All right, let's take a sec. That's so funny. Okay, okay. See, that's, that's much fruitier, not a, not a sharp taste at the end either. I would say, honestly. Okay, yeah, it does it does taste like that mango Coors Seltzer, it's pretty good. Yeah, okay, I'll probably give this one a seven out of 10, I would say. Um, yeah, seven out of 10, it's pretty good, pretty fruity. It resembles the taste a lot of the mango, so. Let's go on to the next one. For the fishies, for the fishies. Next seltzer we have up here is the black cherry seltzer. I'm gonna give this one a try. Crack her open. Smell test. That smells like a, that smells like, that smells like a really, it's like a, that's like, this is like candy. This smells like a, like some kind of cherry Twizzler type thing is what I smell. Maybe even like a cherry Jolly Rancher is kind of what I smell. I'm gonna give it a taste now, see how it tastes. Wow, yeah, it's pretty tart. Uh, it does have that sharp taste like the Seltzers have. Probably gonna be saying that a lot for all these, but yeah, overall it's pretty fruity. I don't know if it tastes like just a black cherry or if it's more of like just a sweet kind of candy taste or not. But let's, uh, let's compare it to the actual cherries I have here, see if have a resemblance at all. Seed. Yeah, that was not the sweetest cherry, but uh, maybe these, one of these is sweet. Oh yeah. Okay. I can see that. This has a way toned down, so I thought this was tart but actually this really ripe cherry is way tarter than this. Flavor wise, uh, I'd probably give this one a six out of 10 is what I would say. Yeah, I mean, it's good. Would I like to drink this flavor more than the other ones? I don't know, but I'd give it a six out of 10, so. Let's go on to the next one. All right, the next seltzer we have on the table is the lemon lime flavor. And yeah, let's crack her open and give her a try. Smell test. The smell's pretty, pretty strong. I mean, it smells like you left like a Sprite in the car all day and you'd crack it open. It's like a warm, it's like a warm lemon lime smell. That's what I'm getting from it. But let's see how it tastes. I think I can taste the lemon and the lime in it. Like I said, it's more of a toned down taste though. Like it's not very, it's not too sweet, so. It could be pretty refreshing because I think if something's too lemon or too lime, it's gonna really be tart in your mouth and really it's not gonna probably be the greatest tasting, but they toned it down pretty well with the seltzer here and I think it overall tastes pretty good. Uh, let's try out a lime. I mean, I know what a lime tastes like, but I'll crack this open for you guys. Try it out.
Give this a little try for you. Yep. Yeah, that's way sweeter. Lemons, you know, are the same way. You know what a lemon tastes like. Uh, this is a lot sweeter than this drink. I would say this is the more toned down version of lemon and lime. Overall, this one doesn't have crazy taste or anything. I'd probably rate it a five out of 10. Uh, yeah, let's go on to the next one, guys. The last seltzer we have up here, guys, is the grapefruit seltzer. Uh, let's crack her open and give it a smell test real quick. Ooh, that's a nice sweet smell. You know, I could definitely see how that could be a grapefruit smell. Uh, let's give it a taste. Okay. So it's not too overpowering of a taste. Um, yeah, let me try that again. Yeah, once again, not too overpowering of a taste. It's kind of like the lemon lime flavor. It's not too sweet, not too tart. Just probably enough flavor. It feels like you dropped a little bit of flavor into a bucket of water, uh, in this case, a seltzer. Uh, I mean, I think it's pretty good. That's like, I could drink it, I would say. I'm gonna give a grapefruit a try now to see kind of if it tastes anything like that. I do know how to eat a grapefruit. Yeah, that's a good grapefruit. Um, that does taste pretty similar. Yeah, I mean. Overall, I'd probably give this one a five out of 10 as well. All right, guys, now I'm gonna rate these from my most favorite to my least favorite. Before I rate these, which one do you think is the one that I've tried before? I got the orange cream pop one here. The orange cream pop one, I was lowballing. I gave just an eight out of 10 to it. I actually probably would rate it a nine or a 10 out of 10. And this is the seltzer that I actually have tried before of the Coors seltzers. So I'm just gonna start out by putting that in the number one spot right there. That is my most favorite one. Now my second favorite one is actually the mango one. Again, it's like a really, really nice sweet flavor, not too much. That's gonna be my second favorite of the seltzers. My third favorite is gonna be the black cherry one. Yep, again, not too crazy sweet. Uh, just enough flavor in my opinion. It's gonna be sitting right at my third favorite. Now my fourth and fifth favorite, based off smells alone, I'm gonna give grapefruit the fourth place and I'm going to give the lemon lime one the fifth place. Thank you so much for watching this Coors Seltzer review today. I had a lot of fun trying these all out. Leave a comment down below on your favorite seltzer. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.